reaction was anger. You may have seen this woman's face or heard her story over the last week. Zaina Iman bravely spoke out about her claims she was drugged and sexually assaulted at the hands of police. After first sharing her ordeal with Sky News, today the Independent Office for Police Conduct said this. These very serious allegations will have undoubtedly unsettled the local community and the wider public. Their severity raises understandable concern and has the potential to undermine confidence in policing. In light of the new information we recently received and the significant media attention generated, as well as a request from Greater Manchester Police, we have taken the decision that an independent investigation is required into the allegations. For Zaina, it's a bittersweet feeling. I've been dealing with the whole police complaints procedure since 2021. I've been gaslit, I've been stonewalled. And I, as a last resort, I waived my right to anonymity, and that wasn't easy. It was two and a half years ago when Zaina was arrested after she knocked the glasses off a police officer's face. At the time, she was high on cocaine. Her 40 hours in custody included being forced face down onto a thin mattress, her jeans removed and underwear cut off, before being left alone, topless and unconscious. After numerous complaints, Zaina obtained this footage from Greater Manchester Police, but believes CCTV, the force don't want her to see, has been purposefully held back. It's what went on inside this police station two years ago in February that the IOPC will now investigate. But this isn't just Zaina's story. Two other women shared their experiences of what they believe were unjustified strip searches after being arrested inside this building. Their cases aren't yet being investigated by the police watchdog, but a former senior officer at the force has little faith in the process. They seem to have removed themselves from the, the Zayna case and passed everything to GMP and seem to have kept a very loose grip on what's taken place. What we've seen is with that loose grip, um, GMP seem to have been um, doing their own thing in inverted commas with very little recourse and very little accountability. In a statement, Greater Manchester Police said GMP is aware that these three individuals are unhappy with the service they received when they were arrested and detained. Their complaints have or are being investigated by the force. Though one investigation is ongoing, there is currently no evidence to suggest GMP employees have misconducted themselves or committed a criminal offence. We asked Greater Manchester Police for a response to this investigation. They told us it would be inappropriate to comment any further. The IOPC vowed this would be a thorough and independent investigation, something Zaina can only hope for as she fights for answers. Inzaman Rashid, Sky News, Manchester.